Hey, what is up everybody? I'm back with another episode of Cooking with Lunkers. <laughs> and today, we're knocking out the mother load, the brisket. You excited? I'm excited to learn correctly. I mean, I cooked it decent last time, but I don't yeah. know how to do Bernan's correctly. So. Yeah, well, That's we're gonna good. figure it out this time. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let uh, let um, Lunkers hold the camera here. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got and then uh, I'll do some trimming. I got this camera. I got this nice and well, it's a little dirty there. <laughs> it is dirty. I don't really get crazy with these. These canned briskets, that's what I call them, canned briskets. They throw so much good flavor that I just leave as much on there. I just try to get rid of some of these big areas of fat. And that's really about it. So this right here, this has got to come out. And you can just put your thumb in there and then I just start digging it out and you'll feel it. Take that sucker out. And this is where I always have a tendency to get my fingers. Now I like to make this end a little aerodynamic. And if you have a problem, so you can see how the grain's running. <clears throat> One thing you can do is just put a slit right down here against the grain. That way when you're done, you'll see that slit and you'll know which way to slice it. Hmm. Now the other thing is, is this is that fat seam right there. You can put your little slit there too. So when you go to get your burnt ends, you can see where it is and just put your knife in there. Okay. And it's just gonna run right down this seam. Then we'll flip it over and take some of this off the back. Now, this fat is, you can feel it, it's, wow. it's hard fat. I just, you know, just whittle it down. I, I like to leave about a quarter inch if I can, but like I said, it's home brisket, so I'm not too worried about what is and what isn't. And it only runs down this edge right here thick. Over here, it's not thick at all. But like I said, I do like to get it aerodynamic. Cause these little pieces like that, they'll burn, but if you can lob them off, this is how the, you, you heard of Aaron Franklin's? Nope. Uh, Austin barbecue, Franklin's oh, barbecue. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's him? Yep. Okay. So he's the one that made this trim popular, I'd say. God, that is a lot of fat. Yeah. I never realized how much fat there was on this. And honestly, you, if you're doing chopped brisket, you can chop it all in there. But other than that. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do to it. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to rub it. Once again, got to keep it simple, man. SPG. And this is a big cut of meat, man. It can handle it. If you want to put more or less, it's up to you. We're gonna let it sweat out. We got the cane going outside. Uh, it'll probably take about another 10 minutes to get up the temperature. As soon as it is, this is sweated out. We'll get it put on. And we're gonna look at about a four. As big as it is with the weather the way it is, we should be able to get this done in about four and a half hours. One question, what the hell does sweat it out mean? So, so as you can see right here, you'll start seeing it right here. Um, it'll start looking wet. The whole brisket will just start looking wet. And what it is, is the moisture coming to the surface because of the salt. Does everybody know that that's watching this? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> well, a lot of them do. Okay. A lot of them do on my channel. 
Okay. But yeah, all you want to do is this, this the when this starts turning wet, that's when you're good to go. Okay. All right. I'm new to this whole meat thing, so I had to ask him to show me how to do this correctly. We got you, bro. I like to put his meat in my mouth. I can do it. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so we got it sweated out. You, you see the difference right there? And we got our can up to temp. So we're just gonna pack this sucker on there. And I always cram it together right here. Just like that. Easy enough? Mm-hmm. Put the lid on. It's probably gonna be about uh, two hours before we wrap it, but we'll do some flipping, spinning, just keeping it moving on there. I like to cook hot and fast, so, you know, sometimes you can burn the backside if you're not careful. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, it'll be super easy piece of cake, man. All right, so it's been right at about an hour and 45 minutes. We got a little crispy on the fat side, but that's all right. Not, not too bad, let me show you real quick. Just right over this guy right here, but that's okay. It's not bad. We flipped it about uh, 50 minutes into it. Smell good? It smells amazing. So we're gonna get this sucker inside, wrapped up, get some brisket mop in there, little beef consomme, put it back on the cooker. So we just wrapped up our brisket. You know the routine, two cans of brisket mop, or I'm sorry, two cans of beef consomme, <laughs> one half can of brisket mop, put it back in the cooker, in two hours, two hours and 20, 30 minutes, we should have perfect brisket. But while that's doing that, we're gonna be doing something else out here. You, you, tell, you tell them what we're doing? Uh, homemade kayak, unfortunately. <laughs> nah, it should be pretty good though. At a PVC pipe. All right, so I wanted to go on camera real quick and just let you know, I think this is uh, a new record. This is a three hour and 55 minute brisket. There you go, you just got your title, you just got your thumbnail. Fastest brisket you ever cooked. Fastest your brisket in the world. <laughs> right there. So we're gonna get this thing taken off inside, let it rest for a minute, but we're gonna go ahead and pull that point and uh, we're gonna show my boy Lunkers how to make burnt ends. If you can just hold these together, that way it funnels through there. Cause it's all, it's all one. You're good, you're good. Go Tilt, tilt your in. Okay. Tell me when. I'd probably say it's good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's awesome. And that's how you do it. You gotta save that out as you. Because this is where the money is. So, we're just gonna open it up, let it rest. So, you remember where that fat seam is? Remember, see how I cut it? Yeah. All you gotta do is just take your knife and put it right down in there. And you wanna do it? You wanna uh, do it? No, you're good, I'm watching right now. You can just, you can just feel exactly where it's going. It's going right down the seam? Yeah, That's what it looks going like. right down that fat seam. Right. Boom. And then pull this little sucker out. That's all we're gonna make burn ends. And I shave off this little fat right here. That little bit. Square it up. And then start making chunks. Taste that one. It's probably hot. Yeah. <laughs> probably not some understatement. <laughs> So when I get to these long ones, or the, these big slices, I'll slice them in half, and then cut them into cubes. This is the, this is, this is the one I like, right down here. Yeah, this end. stuff? Yeah. Oh my God. Little nugget. Ah. Yeah. That's got meat sweats written all over it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I just pulled up some little sidewalls on here. On both sides, on all four sides. 
this is what happens when you don't have any pans when you run out or forget them at home or you know or Matt Kendrick takes them off <laughs> but it's okay uh, this is you know it, it's a good way to do it it's quick it's easy and uh, it works most importantly and then we're just gonna throw all these in there sauce them up put them back on the pit barrel for about 15 20 minutes now at this point this is where everybody differs. You can you can re-rub them, put them back in there, cook them until they all all the rub settles again or sets again. I don't like to do that. I just like throwing them in here, saucing them, and going. You have a sauce. You have your favorite sauce. You want to put on these? Mm. Favorite sauce. Where did I put it? There it is. You see it, and I don't. I don't even. I don't even see it in my own fridge. The right oh, there it is. I want. Yep. This is the best stuff I've ever put in my mouth. Just gonna throw it out there. <laughs> it is a fat guy. I don't like him. No, I don't like that either. We can be on the same page. I'm not big on the whole fat. Yeah, some of them on. Like, here. see this right there? I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah. I'd rather just eat straight lean. That's me right there. Yep, just me. That's what I like. So I put a little space in between them, just so they can bark up a little bit. And we'll take them out and get them on the grill. You yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. This is a great problem to have right here. Waiting on these. This is where it's at. Well, hey, I want to thank you guys for tuning in here, uh, Cooking with Lunkers, Brisket. This was uh, part two of a two-part episode. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here, let me show you the final product, though. These are the burn ends. And that made all that sliced brisket, all that goodness. And you can even see we got, we got some, we got some, I'll shoot right down there. So anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. And I'll catch you in the next video. And oh, by the way, go follow my boy down below if you don't already. He's got a killer channel. He's actually got two killer channels. I'll link them both down in the description. Go over there and show my boy some love. I'll catch you later. Peace.